Good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, our little demo session today about goals. We're going to go over quickly how to create a scorecard and create your very first goal inside PowerBI.com, the service. If you notice here, I'm on my home page for PowerBI.com. On the left hand side here, we have an item on this list here called goals. This is the goals feature and where it lives inside your PowerBI.com environment. Now, goals can be used by both a pro user and a premium user in any kind of premium subscription you have. So since this is a pro user account, I can go ahead and use goals. Clicking on the word goals, I'll be brought to this new page. This new page has a number of examples here in the middle part of the page, and you can create goals in three different areas. You can click this button on the left hand side to create your scorecard, which will contain goals. And then you have another scorecard over here on the left hand side on the upper right corner and down at the bottom as well. Some other things I'll point out on this page. If you have multiple scorecards that have goals in them, you can go to your recents, your favorites. If there is a scorecard that has been shared with you from someone else in your organization, you can see those here. And then you can look at a, another view about all of the scorecards across everything that it's visible to you, what you have permissions to see. Lastly is there's a search window here on the right hand side. So you can go search for your different goals or the scorecards you're looking for. Next, I'll click new scorecard. And clicking this will bring up a little menu on the right hand side. Here where we can enter in the scorecard name. And I would recommend entering a detailed description of what the scorecard is intended to do. You have the sensitivity label option, which is something that comes from your Microsoft 365 security portion of your tenant. So this is not technically controlled here at this particular goals level but you can apply sensitivity, lab sensitivity labels to this data. Lastly, you have the workspace of where you want the goals to go. So I'm gonna quickly enter in here, uh, yearly goals for the name of the scorecard. The description will be Mike's 2022 goals for this year. And you may wanna add some more description things there as well. Next, you can go down to the workspace area and you can pick an existing workspace, which I already have one, or if you click the little checkbox here for create a workspace, it'll let you create a brand new workspace inside your tenant and then allow you pick the pro or premium or embedded licensing that you want with that workspace. For the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna not do that. Instead, I'm just gonna pick my goal demos workspace that I've already created. Bottom right-hand corner, I'll click the create button and that will create my first scorecard, which now I can collect a bunch of goals inside the scorecard. Now let's create our first goal inside our scorecard. Clicking the yellow button in the middle of the screen here, create a new goal. And now we have the ability to enter details about this goal. So first thing we'll enter in our, our name for this goal. So this will be, you know, for lack of a better term, let's just call this money. That will be my goal, make money. And then you can have an estimated current value or an entered value that you want here. So I'm gonna put in 100. Now notice here, if I put in 100, the number will be 100 exactly. So that's just how the number will place. If I add additional decimals here or another zero, you'll now see that the formatting has now changed. It's now 1K, which is, means 1000. So just be aware, uh, it tripped me up the first time I looked at this a little bit around that formatting. It auto formats those data numbers for you to make it easier for you to read. So I'm just gonna leave it for 100 for now. And then I can make my target. This is the objective or what I'm trying to hit with this goal. So let's say my target was double that at 200. And then next, what I can do is I can add a status. If I click the option here, you can see these are the various options I have for statuses. And you can pick one of these statuses and update that status over time as you update your goals over time as well. So if I click on track, it'll now change it to green. And then I can finally can select the start date and end date over here at the very far right hand side. And then finally I'll hit the save button to commit my changes. Hitting save will then create my first goal. You can edit those goals by clicking the little pencil right here. And then you can adjust these numbers if you wanna change the status or something else as well. You can hit save again and then that status will be updated on that goal as well. That's about it. Welcome to building your first scorecard and your first goal. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks around building goals and using goals inside the PowerBI.com service.